With that dictated, so Martin has been some advisors. The thing in this case, these advisors are specialists in you know, what they analyze. They like the economy, the economy analyzes the economy. You know, in a democracy, we have an uninformed electorate, and I'm pretty sure half of these people, are, you know, the large majority of the audience here today, wouldn't know what a farmer goes through because we're not farmers. But even in this scenario, dictators actually do better than democracies because they actually have advisors who are specialists in that field and can actually predict what's going to happen or what needs to be done. What we can also say is that authoritarian regimes are far more efficient. The decisions are based on the decisions of one or three people. Scenario that authoritarian regimes are efficient for governments, that they can react to situations much faster. What we can also say is that many authoritarian regimes do take care of its people. We would look at China, where it actually you know, takes care of the economic growth and development of that nation. Why is that? What we would say is that these, these you know, authoritarian regimes actually realize that there are significant consequences to not treating its people well. They actually see a natural progression of revolution, of a backlash if they don't treat their people well. We think that in many cases, Naturally, these authoritarian regimes are going to be taking care of the citizens and they, because they want to maintain power. So let's look at the second idea of consequences of imposing democracies. And we think that you know, even if you know, there are indicators within society that show that people want to change the government, that imposing democracies through an invasion is not the way to go. We think that in many scenarios, that through global technology, there is a legitimate way to go about imposing change without actually invading the country. We've seen that in Libya, right? In Egypt, where you use social media to actually overthrow the regime and place a good one naturally through the people's will. We think that that doesn't mean we don't really think that we need to impose a democracy through military invasion of a nation's sovereignty. So we really don't think that that stands. What we would also say, though, ladies and gentlemen, is that it's really hard to predict what are the proper indicators of you know, what, what a population wants. Like I said earlier, in Iraq, when we invaded Iraq, the Bush administration really believed that they would face no real opposition. But yes, they did. It's been a 10 year war. Ladies and gentlemen, it's impossible to predict if society is actually large enough, like if the population within society is large enough to actually accept the values that are going to be imposed upon them. We think that in this scenario, when you don't have proper indicators of whether or not a country actually can withstand change or in imposition of democracies, that there are going to be protracted warfare, guerrilla warfare, everything we see in Syria right now. What we would also say, though, is that by uh, imposing democracy, we're taking away the sovereignty of nations. We think that when we do that, the countries lose the legitimacy on the world stage. We think that sovereignty is something that must be protected because countries rule by sovereignty because that is how we give up legitimacy as a government. If we suddenly say that because there are problems within the government, we don't give them the chance to fix it or to change or to accommodate for the population or to rule as it sees fit, we lose the legitimacy of the government. The government no longer you know, stands any water unless there's some power of democracy. We don't think that that's right. We think that we should allow governments to rule based on the will of its people. We should allow revolutions to happen naturally. We don't think that it, you know, we should need a, an invasion uh, by land or sea. So what have we told you today? Well, we've told you that authoritarian regimes cannot be legitimate forms of government. We've told you that there are consequences for imposed government. And what, and what my partner's going to be talking about is how uh, is the nation of democracies and how imposed democracies is. <laughs>